Okay, good afternoon YouTube. Fat Cat Collections back at you today with another watch review. And today I want to talk about one by Android USA. Now, if you're new to, I guess, Invicta Collecting, uh, you probably may not have heard about Android USA. Now, Android is a brand, in my opinion, that came up with watches uh, and the chief designer and owner of the company is Wing Lang. He came up with some really great models over the last couple of years. And one of the models I want to talk about today is the Android Millipede, okay? This is a fantastic watch. Unfortunately, if you want to get this watch, you're not going to get it for the deal that I got this watch for and several of my other Android watches. Now, Android, I discovered because when I started getting involved in Invicta, my dad actually saw a uh, home shopping network or something like that, and he saw that they were having a sale for $85 for a quartz silver jet. If you're unfamiliar with what a silver jet is, go ahead and check out my other videos. Um, and the Silver Jet was just an amazing looking, chunky, masculine watch. Very, very similar in styling to what Invicta does, minus the, I believe Invicta does a much better job at styling the face and the overall styling of the watch. But to say the least, Android still came up with some amazing, amazing models. And again, the one we're going to talk about today is the Millipede. And unfortunately, about six months ago, they shut down the company, and Wing said he wanted to get away from doing the TV shows. He wanted to get involved in doing uh, more design work and come up with new models. Well, all of a sudden, the company website went down, and they came back up under the name Aragon, which I actually like the name Aragon better. But I guess there was some kind of legal problem with the name because of the whole Android operating system. I'm not really sure just what I've read on the Internet. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, nonetheless, though, the watch is not only did the name change, but the complete line change, and you can't get any of these watches anymore. And the new models, sad to say, they're probably nothing I'd want to own in my collection. Not to say they're bad watches, they're probably great watches, but it seems like Wing is focusing more on what's inside the watch than what it looks like. And I just don't think that the watches have any kind of styling whatsoever, and I just don't think that they're anything that when you wear on your wrist, you're going to get a compliment on like you would the Android watches that he previously designed. So that's just what I wanted to say about the Android line. Um, again, you can still pick up some of these watches I'm going to show you, but you're going to be paying a lot more for them. Now, also, keep in mind, when you go ahead and click my links, be sure that you're buying the right size watch, because the ones I show you are the full-size versions, and some of the watches I'm going to show you by Android, they make mid-size versions. So very, very, you know, be very careful with the size, of course. Um, so without further ado, let's discuss this watch. This is model number, and bear with me because I moved into this area to do some videos here for the watches now where I do my cologne reviews um, because the lighting is a little better, and I don't want to have to keep going back and forth. I'm just trying to make the video look a little more professional. So we're just going to do it in my hallway right now. When the weather gets a little nicer, we'll take it back to the office. And remember, I'll be doing outdoor videos as well so you can really see what these things look like under the sunlight. So I'm just going to show you just a couple close-ups here before we get started, and I'll tell you about the model number. Let me just check the model number real quick here. You are looking at model number AD757, I believe, on this watch, if my memory serves me correct. Yep, AD757. Again, the Android Millipede, okay? You can see it's called a Millipede because the band kind of has that Millipede kind of look like a centipede. Really, really unique band. All the links on this are threaded, so these are actually un you can actually unscrew these and uh, size this watch yourself. You don't need any tools to do so. If they're a little bit tight, um, I recommend using like a little bit of jeweler's cloth or piece of uh, cloth and just use like a plier. I mean, you're not going to hurt it. They are they're kind of uh, they have some grooves on them there. Um, <clears throat> this one's done in the royal blue face. This particular model came in a uh, purple and it came in a black and then they had different models they had the open heart uh, which you can actually see the movement on the inside they had other models that came with uh, mother of pearl but for this particular model you got blue purple black and I think maybe green on this particular model um, you have a multi-step bezel right here on the top if you can see that right there you, and then this is sandblasted of course and then you have your polished numbers you have a CNC machined case right over on the side here where you can see the grooves. No crown protector, but it is a screw down crown. CNC machining. And then of course your exhibition window on the back of the watch. And this is powered by a Seiko NH36A movement by Seiko. All automatic, 24 joules. This watch, folks, you won't get it for under $300. And you know, if you get it for $300, i am not even sure it's gonna be the full size version. I paid $150 for this watch. And this is a steal for 150. 
Now, I just looked on through my links today at fatcatwatch.com under the centipede link, um, or I'm sorry, millipede link. You can find this watch. I've seen several for $600. Um, and again, your Seiko movement. Like, it's, I'm not saying it's not worth that at all. It's a great watch. Now that the company's out of business, the price is going to be shooting up on these things. But just make sure that you get the right size. This one here measures 57 millimeter by 19 millimeter. So it's a very thick watch. It's a very big watch. So if you like big watches, this is a tank. Your band measurement on the width, 36 millimeters. It's a really big, chunky band. Um, and then you have your double deployment clasp and your fold over locking uh, clasp. I believe that's what you call it. Uh, what else about the watch? Um, it weighs just about a pound. So it's going to be as heavy as your Venom. Um, it's a big, chunky mask in a watch. I wear this one all the time at work, and, I mean, people are constantly complimenting me on it. But, you know, it's not saying much because I get compliments on every single watch that I wear, uh, providing it's an Invicta, naturally. Um, my other watches that are smaller just don't get that kind of that kind of attention. Even my replica Brightly never got that attention, and you cannot tell the difference. So, guys, Android, Invicta, amazing watches for the money, but this watch... You can get the mid-size version. Again, that's why I say keep in mind that if you go to my links and you go, oh, man, I get this deal for like 280 make sure it's the full-size version because I know they have other versions on this watch that are the 48 millimeter, and I want you to make sure you get the right one and don't get excited for thinking I'm going to get this big, chunky watch and eat the 48 millimeter version, which is still big, but it's not the big daddy. You know what I mean? So um, an amazing watch. It's too bad that they've the company is taking a different turn and heading in a different direction, but, you know, maybe that's what people like more. I don't know. I'm just speaking on what I like. So now let me go ahead and show you what it looks like on the wrist. I'm about 5 foot 7 inches tall. I weigh about 170 pounds, and I have a 7 inch wrist. So all these watches look really, really big on me, which is a good thing, because if you like Invicta watches, that's what you're all about. I'll get a couple close-up shots here. Uh, back a little ways, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the camera angle where I'm gonna go up against a white closet that I have here, and you can just get a little bit better contrast on here with a little, even better lighting because the light will be shining on us a little better here. All right, let's go ahead and do that now. And here's a couple more close ups here. You can see that royal blue face, you can see that band. Just a really intricate, amazing, aggressive band. And I just want to show you real quick here that exhibition window. It's not the prettiest exhibition back that I've seen, but nonetheless, it is an exhibition back. It does show off that Seiko movement. I mean, man, where are you going to get a, a full automatic Seiko movement for 150 bucks? I mean, that was a steal on this watch. And even if you have to pay, you know, 300 bucks for it, it's still a great watch because you can't go, go into your Macy's, go into the mall and see what you get. You're not going to get an automatic Seiko movement watch that looks like this. No way, no how. Now let's get back a little bit here so you can see what it looks like at a little bit more of a distance. And now, some of you may have seen me review this watch before. I, this is one of the first ones I started reviewing when I actually had my head cut off, kind of like it is now. But I actually had the resolution really low on my iPad, uh, which is what I used to record these. And, you know, it was really grainy, and I, you know, was just kind of getting started doing these reviews. So I wanted to upload this one again, especially now that people are going to be looking for these watches because, you know, the company's done. They're done making them. Look at that face. And the coolest part of that watch really is that band. And again, this is a all stainless steel, a brush finished stainless steel with the exception of a few polishing, uh, a little bit of polishing on the numbers, a little bit around the bezel edge, and of course um, your hands and your, um, your number markers of course as well. Everything else is a brushed finish. Alright folks, well that was my review of the Android AD. 757 by Android, uh, a watch that you can no longer get, um, at least for the price that I paid. If you are interested in the watch, by all means, get your hands on it quick because they will be gone eventually. Go to fatcatwatches.com, go ahead and click the link in the description, 
Go to the menu uh, heading that says Android, and you'll see Millipede under there, and it'll take you to real-time listings on what's available. I don't know what's available day-to-day. -day. These things are selling, so definitely get on it as fast as you can. Also, if this watch isn't for you and you like the and you think you might like Android, check out the other links for the Millipede, I'm sorry, the uh, Silverjet and the Enforcer and also the Parma. That's a tougher one to get to. But um, anyway, remember, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you like the new setting right here, if you prefer the videos like this, rather than my office, if they're a little easier to watch, by all means, let me know and put a comment in the description. If you have this watch or want to get involved in the conversation, make sure you find me on Facebook under Fat Cat Watches and go ahead and friend request me. We're having a lot, a lot of people putting up wrist shots and everything else, and, dis and people are discovering new watches that they've never even seen before that they're, they're going ahead and buying. So uh, definitely get on the action. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.